doing it. I'm making my Lady Gaga costume. I decided to go with telephone outfit. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how this goes. That's right, here we are. I'm gonna show you how I made my Lady Gaga costume to see her in Vegas. I chose to make the costume from the end of the telephone video, the diner outfit. I'm gonna show you how I made the hat and the dress as well as where I got all the other materials and how I did my makeup and everything. I'm super excited to make this video and I had so much fun making this costume, so I hope you like it. So the first thing I wanted to do for the costume was the hat, just because it seemed like it was the hardest part and I figured that if I was going to mess something up, I wanted to do it early on in the project so I didn't get too invested. So I started with the hat. And I'm not gonna give you step-by-step -step instructions on how I made this because I literally followed a YouTube video that I am going to link below. It was super helpful and I had it open on my computer in the background the whole time I was making this hat. So if you want step-by-step -step instructions, I will link that one below. But I'm just gonna give you a little brief overview of what I did. So it starts with a whole lot of this light blue cardstock it starts out with cutting a bunch of these identical squares and then folding them so they make this like kind of pointed shape and then I literally just followed the video and the instructions that were on it. The person really walks you through every single step and there are a couple points when I was confused or had to rewind it a little bit because it wasn't clear but eventually you get there it really literally is just following the video. My only other tips for this part are just take your time, go really slow. It's easy to get confused because it all starts to kind of look the same after a while. Also, it really helped me to spread it out over time. As you can see, I'm in several different outfits throughout this because I did it over a lot of different days and just kind of give myself a break and give the glue time to dry. Okay, so pending some glue drying and some touch up, it's done. It's done! I obviously still have to make the phone that goes on top somehow. I have no clue I'm gonna make that. I'm really happy with it, especially on camera. It looks really good on camera. Yay! Wow, listen to the disbelief in my voice that it turned out good. So yes, the basic structure of the hat is done, but I obviously still had a couple other little details to do. So parts of Gaga's hat are kind of shiny, so to achieve that look, I decided to just use aluminum foil. The guy in the video used this aluminum tape stuff, but I didn't know where to get that, and I did know where to get foil, so I used that. So to do this, I just used a triangle from one of my squares I cut out to make the hat in the first place as kind of a template, and I cut out 10 of these little foil squares. After that, I just glued them onto the hat in the places that were specified in the other video. Also just make sure you're being careful to put the shinier side out so you get that reflective look and try to press them down as flat as possible. Foil of course is wrinkly by nature so it was kind of hard to get them to look really good but just try to put them down as the glue dries and kind of hold it in place. Okay, so finally time to make that telephone. The hat was the very first thing that I started and the phone was the last thing I finished. At first I thought I wouldn't make the telephone, I would just leave the hat how it was, but after making all my other things, I decided that I had a little more confidence than that so I could go ahead and give it a try and I had a lot of blue cardstock left over anyway. So for the phone, I again used a template from the same guy who made the hat video, but basically I just printed it out in black and white and then cut it out and traced it onto my blue cardstock. So then I cut the whole template out and practiced folding it. It was actually pretty easy. And then I just did the exact same thing with my cardstock and just folded it into a little phone. As for the cord situation, this was a little bit more difficult. Ideally, I could have bought a blue telephone cord that was the same color as the hat, but I thought it'd be too hard to shop online for this because I wanted it to be an exact color match. So instead, I just got a black one and I was hoping to just be able to paint it the exact same color blue. In a perfect world, I could have used spray paint and just made the hat and this in any color and then just spray painted it all the exact same shade, but I don't have a place that I can spray paint, so that wasn't really an option for me. But I found this paint and I used one of those little spongy brushes. I eventually decided to try something else and I just cut off the top of a solo cup and put a bunch of paint in there and just dipped it in and it worked a lot better but it was obviously a little more messy as well. So once I finished dipping it in the paint, I set it off to the side, let it dry overnight, and the next day it was time to attach it to the hat and my phone. So for this part, I just took that painted cord and stuck it through one of the holes in the hat and used some electrical tape to put it in there. And then I used my X-Acto knife to cut a tiny little hole in my phone and used some more tape and some glue to attach the other side of the cord inside. And then I used some more glue to put the phone on top and the hat was pretty much done. And I think it looks so good. I'm so happy with how it turned out. Okay, so now I'm gonna start working on the dress. I'm gonna attempt to make this plastic like poncho material into a dress. All right, so like I said, it's time for me to start working on the dress. So in the music video, Gaga is wearing a plastic, clear, not transparent, but definitely translucent dress. And in the video, it doesn't look like she's wearing anything underneath of her dress, but I was not trying to run around Vegas naked, so I decided to get a nude slip dress just to wear underneath of my plastic part. I ended up finding this clear vinyl on Etsy that reminds me a lot of the same material as a Disney poncho, maybe just a little bit thinner, but otherwise it's pretty much that. And I thought it would work really well. So I started by laying it out on the floor and I drew my measurements out 
out. I had a pattern that my friend made for me based on my measurements. So the idea was we were gonna use three pieces to create the dress shape. It was almost gonna be kind of like a jacket. So one piece to go across my back and then two pieces to come around in the front. So all I would have to do is cut the pieces out and sew the sides together. So for the first piece, I cut it out on a fold. So it was the same on both sides. And then I used that to trace out my two front pieces that were just a little bit thinner and flat all the way across the side so they could overlap like hers does. Once I had everything cut out, I was left with my three pieces and it was time to start sewing. And if you are someone who makes things a lot or is super crafty, this would probably be extremely easy for you. But I have used a sewing machine maybe three times in my life, including this project. So I was super nervous about messing it up. All right, I'm terrified, but we're doing it. We are doing it. So the scariest part of this whole project was definitely the sewing. I had this clear invisible thread that was a little bit slick or almost like plasticky. So it took a little bit of maneuvering to get it to work the way I wanted it to. And the actual material itself was a little bit stretchy. So I had to be careful with how I put it through the machine. But after a little while, I did eventually get the hang of it. All right, hopefully I didn't just ruin this. So once everything was sewn together on the side, then a little bit at the top, I decided to go try it on and see where we were at. And I liked how it was looking. It seemed like it had the right shape, but it was really, really wide. I decided that I was gonna have to take it in a little bit. But at this point I was a little bit nervous because I was going off script a little bit and I felt like I was kind of winging it. So I decided it was a good time to call in an expert. Unfortunately, I don't know any experts on making plastic dresses. So I made my husband help me instead. Basically what I did was just lay the piece down and then I had him just draw around me a little bit inside of what I had already sewed so I could take it in just a tiny bit. So I ended up actually kind of just winging it and using my presser foot as a guide more than the lines even. I kind of just lined it up about a half an inch away from the line that I had already sewed and just followed it all the way down. I was terrified of messing this up, but it turned out that doing it twice really ended up making it look a lot better because my second time I was a lot more comfortable with using the machine and I was able to know what I did wrong before and it looked a lot, a lot better. So I was really happy that I ended up doing it again. All right, hope I didn't just ruin this part too. So after that, I just grabbed some scissors and started going through and cleaning it up a little bit. I just cut off all the extra threads, any excess material, and I cut a really close line to the one that I had just sewed. So the inside, you couldn't really see the seam as much. Good news, I do not think I ruined it. So finally, I went to go try it on and I got really hype. I think it looks super good. So then I remembered that Gaga was wearing her apron and hers as well. So I went and grabbed my little apron that I got from Amazon and I put it on to cinch the waist a little bit more and it looked even better. I was so excited and I was so hyped that I decided to just put my nude dress on as well to see what it looked like. And I think it looks really good. I just need to fix the neckline at this point, obviously still as well and kind of figure out how we're gonna keep the front together. But overall, I was super happy with the results so far. From here, it was pretty much done. It was just some finishing touches. So I just measured my shoulder seams to make sure those were even. I also cut the bottom and the flaps in the front that overlap. And then for the neckline, I used a t-shirt to measure out the neckline where I wanted it. And I just pinned it and then cut it out. And I decided I would just use safety pins to close it. So it was pretty much done. The last couple of things I did before I left were take care of my wig. I used this leave-in conditioner on it just to make it look a little bit less fake and then just kind of ran it through with my fingers. I had no clue what I was doing there, but it looks better later, I promise. And I also practiced my makeup, which you'll see in just a minute. And then a quick little trip to Disneyland and a drive through the desert later, we were in Vegas and ready to get ready for the show. On show day, we just braided my hair and then pinned it up so it would fit nicely under my wig cap. And then I was ready for my makeup. So I started out with my eye look. The basic story is a lot of dark blue eyeshadow and then a lot of black eyeshadow blended all around it. I blended a ton. You'll see a lot of it in this video. And then I just did my normal base makeup. I'm gonna put all the products that I use in the description if you're interested, but this is just like my everyday look. It wasn't anything special. I also filled in my eyebrows like normal and then I went over them with a black shadow just to make them look a little bit, little bit more dark like hers. And then a lot more blending, blending, blending. I used a black eyeliner on the bottom and then my House Laboratories liquid eyeliner on the top. A little more blending. And then I applied a little more blue on top just to make it pop. I also wore a lot of highlighter for this look. Not that she does in the video or anything, but I do in real life, so I had to make it a little me. And I compared it to the picture that I had and Sarah said it looked perfect, so yay. Finally, time for my favorite part, the fake lashes. These are just some of my favorite old ones that I've had for literally years. I don't even know the name of the style, but I'll look it up and put it in the bottom for you. I think the lashes really just elevate the look. They make it look so much more powerful and amazing. So I love them. Look at that, I could take over the world with these lashes on. And then to finish it all off, I had this bright pink lipstick, ton of setting spray, and then my obnoxious Gaga fan to dry myself off. Looks great. 
Another really cool part of our costume that I absolutely loved was we bought these temporary tattoos to look like Gaga's tattoos on Etsy. They were so amazing. They looked great. They were super easy to use, and I think that they really added a lot to our costumes, and they made me want to go and get these tattoos. So we'll see if I end up getting that monster claw in the near future. I'm going to brush out my wig and then put it on. Well, you heard me. I brushed out my wig, and I think it looked really good. I was afraid to brush it, but I think that it really made the curls look a lot more realistic, so that worked really well. Oh my god. Stephanie is in our oh hotel god, room. Stephanie is here. This wig is from eBay, and I was nervous about it, but I think it turned out really good and perfect for the costume. Amazing. So then we just had to get my hat on, and we were ready to party. We're good. We're good. We're good. So that's how I made my Gaga costume. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it came out. I love it so much, and I'm really proud of myself for making it, honestly, I love it. Stop calling. I oh do not God, want to talk amazing. anymore. So I really hope you like this video. We had so much fun in Vegas. I'm gonna put a quick little few shots of our Enigma show. It was absolutely incredible. We had a great time. We got tons of compliments on our costumes, and it was just amazing. We had an amazing time, and I cannot wait to see Gaga again in the future. So I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Bye.